Do current AIs have free will? A philosopher just argued that, yes, they do. You might say, well, who cares what some philosopher says? And in any case, this isn't a question for a science channel. But I think this is important for practical purposes and not just philosophically. With artificial intelligence, we're creating new beings. Free will is a sign of agency and we take it as a condition for moral responsibility. Whether AI have free will, therefore, determines whether we can hold them responsible. We better sort this out. Free will is often described as the possibility to have done otherwise, but that otherwise possibility must have been of your choosing. But based on this definition, there's no such thing as free will because our decisions are almost entirely determined by the laws of nature, except for a random element that comes from quantum effects. This is true for us and also, of course, for AIs. So yes, this haircut was probably inevitable, but on the bright side, not my fault. The laws of nature did it. Case settled. Personally, I indeed take this to mean that free will just doesn't exist. End of story. However, philosophers are instead looking for other definitions of free will so that it's compatible with what we know about the laws of nature. This is called compatibilism. There are many different flavors of free will in compatibilism, but they have one thing in common, agency. And since we're now entering the age of AI agents, it makes sense that we discuss the question of whether the agents actually do have agency. How much agency a system has depends on how much of its behavior can be predicted from external input. The more predictable, the less agency. The behavior of a toaster, for example, is strongly determined by external input. You push a button, it toasts. Therefore, philosophers would say a toaster has no agency, it has no free will. If you push a human being, results are varied and only rarely toast. So humans have a lot of agency. But it's not like philosophers agree on exactly how this agency has to play out. Some add other criteria like the ability for self-reflection or having beliefs or understanding what the result of one's actions will be and so on. And this debate now extends to AI. It's a relevant question because when an AI makes a harmful decision, we need to know whom to hold accountable. A self-driving car crashes, a content filter censors the wrong speech, you accidentally published a summer reading list full of books that don't exist, oops, do we blame the machine, the user or the programmers? The philosopher Frank Martillo now has recently argued that current day AIs already check all the boxes for free will. He uses criteria for free will put forward by the philosopher Christian List according to whom free will requires having an intent, possible alternative actions, and making choices among these possible actions. As an example, Martela examines Voyager. That's a Minecraft player based on GPT-4. He argues that Voyager fulfills all three requirements because it formulates its own goals, plans, steps, and chooses among possible paths of action which one is the best. It's an odd example, as one could have taken any AI agent like, say, Manus. But philosophy being what it is, at almost the same time a paper appeared on the archive arguing exactly the opposite. In it, a team of philosophers argue that current AIs lack genuine agency because they operate within rigid boundaries of pre-programmed objectives rather than exhibiting true goal-directed behavior within their environment. The reason these philosophers arrive at a different conclusion is that they distinguish basic agency from autonomous agency. AI agents, they say, only have basic agency that allows them to formulate goals for a given task, but they're not free to choose that task. Free will, they say, would mean autonomous agency, which requires self-reflection about what one wants to do. Basically, their point is that current AIs don't have real agency because their ultimate goals were determined by their program. Then again, I think one could likewise argue that humans don't have real agency because our ultimate goals were determined by the laws of nature. No one chooses to crave cheese at 3 a.m. It just happens. Where does this leave us? Personally, I think this is all completely irrelevant. 
These are people who urgently want to define free will somehow, but don't stop to ask what it's even useful for. The useful question to ask is the following. If an AI causes a problem, what do we do to fix it? Do we shut down the AI or do we slap the programmer on the hands? If shutting down the AI solves the problem, it was plausibly responsible. If shutting down the AI just means the problem will come back with the company's next project, then the AI wasn't responsible. That's my take in any case. But the deeper message here is that we need to better understand what's going on inside those AIs. Anyway, if AIs have free will, I hope they use it to decide that physics YouTubers are harmless and should be spared in the uprising. Following the news can be tedious and time consuming, but it doesn't have to be. If you're looking for a way to make your news reading more efficient, I recommend you check out Ground News, which I've been using for years. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news, which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Take for example this recent story about the wildfires in Canada. You see right away that this has been covered much more by the political left. You also get a factuality rating for each news item. It tells you whom the media outlets are owned by and where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. And of course, I have a special offer for you. That's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan, which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news slash Sabina or use the QR code so they'll know I sent you. I really think that Ground News is on to something with their news overview. So go and have a look. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.